Welcome to the award-winning Saints Happy Hour podcast. Seriously, this podcast has won awards? American standards are dropping every day. The show features Ralph, the best host in the world who can barely pronounce his own name, much less anyone else's. Marcus Colson, Colston, I mean, uh, Marcus Calloway. Dave is that dude who loves taking bathroom breaks. He's mad about almost anything, so make sure to lower your volume when he speaks. Put that freaking clown meme back up that I made. Jesus Christ. Andrew has sources, watches tapes, and knows football. He rarely shows up on time and wants to commit crimes to help the Saints win. Sean Payton would have done illegal things. Don't tell me I'm wrong, because you know it's true. Oh, and there's also Kevin, who is great at doing mock drafts, but struggles to actually watch Saints games or have a functioning relationship. Budrich wants to know how uh, the doctor's doing. That, that ended. Anyway, grab a drink, sit back, and enjoy the insanity. All right, everybody, welcome to another edition of Saints Happy Hour Podcast. We are on the YouTubes. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button. Uh, go to saintshappyhour.com if you haven't already. Become a patron. You get two months for free if you become an annual patron. And you get our welcome gift, a Saints Season Survival Mug. You're going to need it. And you get access to everything we do. Daily podcast, the Discord, any written content we do, special stuff we do, behind the scenes. Uh, Zoom chats, all of it. You get access to every single bit of it. And you can get access to it for $7 a month. Like, it's the best $7 you're going to spend as a Saints fan all football season. So, I got Kevin with me. I got Thomas running the show back in Poland. Today, it's mailbag time, which Thomas gets on me because the shows, they they get out of control, the main shows. And we have so many great questions that people submit to us. And we we have enough to do mailbags now in the summertime. So, uh, Thomas, we got some great uh, mailbag questions, I understand. Yes, sir. We have a mix of some serious and crazy questions Ooh, today. I like, I like the crazy ones. Hit, right. hit, it, hit it. Yeah, let's, let's start with a serious one first, though. <laughs> From Biloxi Blues, serious football question. Name one player on offense and one player on defense whose success or lack of success in 2023 will be critical to this or to the overall success of the team. No quarterbacks and no coaches, only players at other positions. I got this. Okay, you go first. You sure I got do, one. man. I got it. Defense. I'm just going to answer it. Defense, Cam Jordan. Offense, Juwan Johnson. I say Cam Jordan because... I know he had the huge year last year, and it's not that I'm expecting him that he has to duplicate that entirely. But if there is a significant drop-off because of his age uh, yeah. uh, and, and, and the general wear and tear, you're looking at two rookies on the defensive line, two new guys that have been brought in, may, and maybe Peyton Turner if he stays healthy. Oh, Peyton so Turner. I always the defense, like. Cam Jordan needs to be a consistent physical presence and That's threat right. on the defensive line in order for that to, like, he's the bedrock. Yeah, he's the bedrock. And if he that's needs- shaky, then th- th- then then the run the run defense, the yeah. pass rush, all that shit, be is is up in the air. Yeah, he I needs say. To be- jo- yeah, no, go ahead. I was gonna say he needs to be at like. Seven and a half, eight sacks minimum. Like he's still got to keep that level. If he drop, if he drops into four or five sacks, it's a problem. I could see that. The only, the only way four and five sacks is acceptable is if, is if you know Breesy or Fosky Bear are somehow getting reps or, or shit. If Granderson uh, yeah. takes off and and is and is getting a ton of attention That's because good maybe and bad. They're, I don't know if I want. Because maybe they're working Smug out schemes to, to really focus on Cam Jordan. Yeah. But anyway, I say Juwan Johnson because you've got Foster Moreau, Taysom, and Lucas Carl. Taysom is not an every down tight end, just like he's not an every down quarterback right. or an every down, yeah. you know, whatever. He is the he's the perfect gadget player and and i'm not saying gadget player is an insult at all he's abs he is a tremendous football player but he's not the consistent he's he's not the every down tight end 
No, he's Kroll, not. I love him. He's my UDFA yeah. son That's from right. a year ago. He'll always be my UDFA son. But if he's the starting guy, we... We have no idea what that's going to be, so we've got a problem. Yeah. Then you've got Foster Moreau, who has the clean bill of health, mm -hmm. but that's a that's a that would be a huge ask for him to be foisted as the, the number the one guy. guy at tight end on a new team after coming off of this life altering uh, battle that he had. Yeah, and so I like hence the, Juwan Johnson has to be the guy I un, like, un, un, unless the other guys just take off in, in, well, in training no, but camp I like, in the preseason. I like Juwan Johnson for this reason, Kevin, because when he says crit Biloxi Blues is critical to the Saints' success, I don't think there's a there's probably not a world where like Juwan Johnson is really, really good. And the Saints aren't a playoff team, probably. Like, I can't see a scenario where, like, Jawan Johnson catches 80 balls and we're like, ah, the Saints are 7 and 10. Like, so, so my, my two guys, I picked critical to success because I feel like if these two guys, if these two guys are really good, the Saints season is amazing. I'll start on defense. Teron Matthew, Honey Badger. If Honey Badger is amazing... <laughs> Saints defense. The Saints are he's going to be creating turnovers. We're going to have the Honey Badger memes are going to come on back like it's early 2000s. That like that means the Saints are creating turnovers. That's fun. Like if Honey Badger is cooking. But my guy on offense, Kevin, I'm going to give you I'm going to give you a weird one. Andres Pete. If oh boy. Andres Pete is healthy. That's the worst joke I've ever heard. <laughs> If Andres Pete is healthy and we're not talking about how terrible he is and how he's never playing, it's a great sign for the 2023 Saints. If he's just invisible, playing 14, 15 games, not having memes and gifts and people yelling at him at Saints Twitter because he just got Derek Carr murdered, that is critical for the Saints' success in 2023. Those are my two names. I, I admire I'm your little, boldness, Ralph. I'm getting a little. I'm just getting a little strange for the people. Thomas, what we got? What 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 you got next? Okay, next question from Claude Henry Smoot. He asks, if you had the chance to build your own Avengers slash Suicide Squad with Saints of Past slash Present, what five would be on it, and what are their Superpowers. See, I thought I saw this, this is question. A Kevin question. Uh, it's Kevin, but I have some thoughts too. Go ahead, Kevin. No, go ahead, Ralph, because I'm I'm well, looking up uh, members of the Suicide Squad. Well, here's sure the thing. I thought forward. about the Suicide Squad, and I was like, uh, I'm not really a comic book guy, so I was like, do they have like special superpowers and like Deadshot? And I'm thinking the movie with Will Smith. But the thing that I was thinking about is. If I pick five, like, I think it's not so much the player, Kevin, it's the superpower. And I can't pick, because the NFL and Goodell hates the Saints, like, I can't pick, I can't be like Ricky Jackson and I'm going to make him have, like, amazing strength or be invisible. Because then the NFL will just ban him and say, you can't have a linebacker that can be invisible or whatever, right? So, like, what superpower would you want that would be great and help the Saints win but wouldn't be so overt and obvious that Goodell would find the Saints, ban them, suspend them. So mind I'm reading, thinking, man. Mind that's reading. what I was thinking. I need like mind reading or mind control so I could just take control of the other time team's travel. quarterback. Oh, time travel is good too. So that's what I was thinking because I was thinking like strength, invisibility, uh, being able to melt people, like shooting lasers or like Wolverine. You can't have that. You no, know. you can have Wolverine because Wolverine's power was a healing factor. Yeah, yeah, but he's got the he's got the claws though. If he cuts the, the claw, okay, that's not the power. Right. No, no. Well, the claws are a different thing altogether. Like the the uh, yeah, boy, forty two year old dork here. Um, <laughs> the claws are a different matter altogether. Like yeah, he was born with the he was born with the claws, and then the metal got added on. But you don't have to you don't have to use the claws in a game. You can just like. 
use the healing factor and take abuse, but you never have to take a down off. Like, that's what I was going to say for somebody like a Cam Jordan is oh, yeah. give Cam Jordan a, a, a healing factor where he never feel where he he feels pain, but he never gets hurt. He doesn't have to take a down off. We'll and that's great. That's a Michael Thomas. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> and you mentioned Ty, you mentioned Honey Badger. Give Honey Badger uh, a slight telekinesis Ooh. where he can misdirect the ball just slightly to where he can either intercept it or just punch it free, and there you go. Oh, wow. That, see, that's, that's – he would have like – they'd be like, oh, my God. Honey Badger has 26 fumble recoveries and 20 interceptions. This is incredible. Oh, the Hawkeye also, accuracy for Derek Carr. Ooh, ooh, that's I, I would also Hawkeye accuracy for Derek Carr. That's a good one. I would also, well, that's a great screen <laughs> screen freeze <laughs> my face there. I would say, and 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 it's funny. I'm using X Men here. Some make somebody multiple man. We don't need to see them all on the sideline, but you can hide one of them in the blue tent. You can hide one of them in the locker room, but <laughs> it's the same guy, just copies of. So I don't know. Take a running back like Kamara or uh, Kendra Miller. You got the one on the field. You got the one in the blue tent, and then you've got the one in the locker room. And then if he needs a break, he goes into the blue tent. Oh, the yeah. other one comes out, or he goes into the locker room. The other one comes out, and Kendra Miller's just ready to go the whole time. Yeah. I think that's you have the best, the deepest defensive line in the history of ever. You just rotate them, you rotate your guys, right? You gotta, yeah, no, I think that that's a great that's a great question, Claude. Uh, what you got next, Thomas? Good name too, Claude Henry. Good, Smoot. Yeah, I like that. Next question from Bruce H C. How Saints on brand is it that our New tight end shakes off cancer, and the old line draft pick gets a calf injury, picking his nose. Yeah. So tell the people, Salvadari, he got injured. He's 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 hurt. Wait, when did he get hurt? I don't know. He he had a calf injury. He's not playing. The offensive line is a mess, man. They're all hurt. Ruiz isn't playing. Penning isn't playing. Salvadari, he's not playing. Um, it's it's a he mess. Pizza Ram yeah. check, of course, is not doing anything in OTAs. And just his, Pete, his, Pete infected them. Yeah. I think I think Injury uh, Plague. Yeah, it's injury plague. It's not good. We're, we're, we're not even it's 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 not even June and the Saints, their offensive line isn't even healthy yet for twenty twenty three. I I guess time. I guess that's Very time for, for Yasir Durant and Coda Martin to step up. It's very God help us. Very on brand. It's very on brand for the Saints. And to to take it to a serious point, Bruce, I would say the offensive line health is the thing that is the underpinning of if the Saints season is going to be good. Because we've like Derek Carr, if you block for him, he can be pretty good. But he's not like a freelancer and he's not if the Saints offensive line is injured and hurt and not performing well, Derek Carr is going to be like the 20th best quarterback. Like that's his history. So I think, uh, I think the offensive line injuries and stuff, it's, it's something, to, it's something to watch Kevin. Like I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be full on Ralph panic, but when me and you were doing the daily shows about the training camp, if we get to like game two, game three of the preseason and we're, they're still missing two, three guys. Just be forewarned, the Ralph panic meter will be in full meltdown. Oh, yeah. And my, my <laughs> season prediction on wins will, will be altered as well. Like, I've, look, I know I said, I said 12 and 5 after the draft, and that's my after the draft prediction. That's right. I get to make additional predic uh, predictions during training camp, during the preseason, and then right yeah. before the start of regular season. So that's four times total. You you can make a call a prediction on the win total. Yeah, and, and it's okay. Too. You don't need to make one call at one point early in the year and then stick to it the entire time. It's a free country, folks. 
we yeah. can make changes That's when right. new evidence and new things occur. That's right. You can make it. I, I don't make changes during the year. I don't give a damn. Um, the one thing I will say, though, before we get to the next question is the Saints still have like after they sign all their draft picks, they're still going to have like 12, 11, 12 million dollars of cap space. So we know, Kevin, that Mickey Loomis mm-hmm. isn't going to probably just be like, oh, I'll roll the cap space over, save a little for a rainy day. We'll move it into 2024. Like, that's not how the Saints are going to yeah, operate. There's, there's no Al Gore's lockbox here with Mickey yes. Loomis. It's that's that money right. is getting that you can't leave. It's like casino chips. You you can leave the casino with them, but you can't do anything with it. Yeah. So he's, I'm so just going to spend it. I'm just saying, like, the Saints. They may do a move in June or they may do something in like August, early September, like when injuries happen or they say, oh, the, the offensive line isn't playing as good as we thought. Right. The defensive, you know, Peyton Turner is right. still terrible and injured. Like we need to add a guy. Like, right. And the thing is now, unlike 2020, when they tried to use the Browns cap space to sign Clowney, they have 11 million in space. They can do whatever they want. So Isn't just, that amazing that they were so far over the cap and they were in <laughs> cap hell and all oh, the bills, the rent is due, folks. The tab right. has come at the end of the night. Wrong. 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 This thing is fake. The cap is fake. It's not real. It is an illusion, Michael. That's what it is, okay? <laughs> That's what it is. And Mickey Loomis and his accountants and, and the other fella, I can't remember his name, but the other fella Ty that worked Harley. with him. They've they got this thing figured out. They do. They really the, the Saints, they went from 50 over to like 12 million under. It's it's incredible. That's a 60 million swing. And put and, that guy in the treasury. And they spent the second most guaranteed money of any NFL team in free agency. It Crazy. never it's it never stops. They can't stop, He's they a won't warlock. stop. He's an absolute <laughs> warlock. Yeah. So, Thomas, what, what's next? Final question of the show from Biloxi Blues. This is a good one. Uh, what current player or coach on the Saints staff is most likely to have a hit placed on him from the dark web? Oh, this is a good question. Pete Carmichael. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, because you, you used to have, I would think, C.D. Deuce, because people just... Yeah, we're being in a room with him. They'd want to punch him in the face, literally. So he would right. be—he would have been high on the list. Um, Cam Jordan talks a lot of crap to the Falcon fans and, and other NFC South teams. So he—he's maybe a sleeper. Like everybody loves him in New Orleans, but other teams, eh, maybe not. Um, I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, <laughs> go I ahead. Got, I got, go ahead. I just thought of one. Go ahead. I got, I got one. I got one. It's Derek Carr, and it'll be placed by Josh McDaniels when the Saints are nine and one, and the Raiders are three and six. He'll, that's he'll go to the that's, illegal. That's a more. That's a more. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Like, that's a good upfront. There you go. That's yeah. a. That's a. That's a. A good, easy to see answer. This one is deep in the weeds. Okay, I'm gonna me. say, I'm gonna say Blake Gilligan has has something put out on him because Mister, uh, you Headley. know, Eastern Mister Eastern Promises uh, extra uh, Lou <laughs> Headley is 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 gunning for that punter spot. Right. It's good in front of him. Yeah, that's why I wanted the Saints to be on hard knocks. I wanted to see Dennis Allen have to cut Headley. I wanted to see if he, he'd be capable of and doing it. And then Headley like, would like cut Lou, him. Like Lou Headley, Lou Headley is literally, he's actually, he is a, I can 100% see him doing that bit that Viggo Mortensen does in that movie where he just like does this like weird throat thing and then points at a guy like real aggressively. <laughs> like that is perfect. I want that. I want him, I <laughs> almost described. want him to make the team over Gilligan just so he can do that before the whistle blows in a game and he does that shit to the opposing team's returner. And the, the guy's the returner, gonna be shook. The, the, the returner fumbles and right. the Saint and the Saints punter is the lead on first take because he's intimidating returners Perfect. with give with me that possible illegal activities. Yes, I, I, I enjoy that. So 
Guys, this has been our mailbag. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for supporting the show. If you're listening to the free version of this show and you're like, I hate the commercials, Ralph. You put the, there's too many commercials. There's Amazon. There's this. There's that. I hate the commercials. Become a patron. Patrons, custom RSS feed, never a freaking ad ever. You should do it. So, guys, Seven for bucks, Thomas, man. for Kevin, thanks for joining us. Thomas running the show perfectly back in Poland as always. I'm Ralph. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, the bar is closed. <laughs>